feedback we heard across the industry from large enterprises, how can you, Qualcomm, simplify the 3G embedded market? They asked us for a single device that would work anywhere in the world. They wanted to get away from the concept of having a Verizon laptop or an AT&T laptop or a Sprint laptop. They said, Qualcomm, we'd like a laptop, first and foremost. And then secondary, we can then make the decision based on the coverage and pricing of that area. They also asked for that investment protection. If I'm going to buy a laptop today, the technology needs to last for the two to three year PC refresh cycle. And then finally, they asked for global roaming. If I'm, going to, if, if I'm a large multinational company with offices around the world, I need to be able to deploy that laptop globally and have connectivity globally. Now these challenges, what we tried to do as a group between Absolute and Trellia is tried to map them into different categories, if you will. The three categories we came up with are flexibility, cost, and security. Now flexibility, if you think about as you're deploying these laptops, once you deploy them, let's say that employee relocates to another area. Do you have to give them another laptop? Or can you, in fact, be able to use an embedded modem that works across the country? Flexibility also from the standpoint of a single SKU that you can deploy globally. So you purchase once, but then you can standardize and offer it across your employee base around the world. Now, if you look at costs, some of the issues that come is, are you trying to make decisions on, do I provide DSL for my remote-based users? Do I, do I provide a cable modem? Do I also give them a smartphone? I give them an air card. Over time, those costs add up because they may now have two or three different pricing plans that you're supporting as an IT staff. Is it corporate liable? Do they expense it? And how do I support and manage all these different devices? And if I have an HP, Lenovo, Dell mixed environment, where do I get the software? Is it from HP? Is it from Dell? Is it from Lenovo? These are the kind of questions that, I've, that uh, we've heard and I'm sure you've seen in your own 3G deployments. And then finally, it's interesting, you look at the deployments of laptops in the, in the enterprise and it's increasing. So the number of laptops, in fact, this year sold more than desktops. And in the enterprise itself, we're seeing anywhere 50% on average of the install base for laptops. That trend is continuing, but it's a scary trend from a security standpoint. Any security architects in the room? How do you ensure that that increasing number of laptops, it's no longer in your control, where it's in the walls of your office, how do you secure that data? Do you know if it's secure? Is encryption enough on the hard drive? So these are some of the issues that we've been struggling with within the industry, and we have some solutions that we'd like to share with you today. So first, Gobi, I want to talk about briefly, uh, show of hands, how many know what Gobi is? Okay. So most of you already know what Gobi is. So I'll go through this quickly and more give you an update from where we were 12 months ago. So Gobi is the only multi-mode software-defined modem that gives you both EBDO and HSPA coverage for all the leading networks around the world. From last year, we started with an initial launch with uh, two or three OEMs. Now there are over 10 OEMs shipping Gobi in multiple platforms, over 50 models, and that number continues to grow. It has become the de facto standard for 3G connectivity embedded in the laptop. The carrier coverage also has increased as more and more carriers see the value of selling data plans in the enterprise as a value added feature of the laptop itself. These are the frequencies. If you saw slides from last year, what we've added from last year are two additional frequencies in Europe. So we do have the existing dual band here in the US for EBDO Rev A. We have now five bands adding 800 megahertz and 900 mega megahertz for Japan, for carriers in Japan, and then also for the rural areas in Europe. And then we continue to support all the legacy frequencies back to 1XRTT and Edge GPRS. The other interesting benefit of Gobi is because Qualcomm, we leverage the existing chipsets and phones, which were the leading supplier of GPS, because we integrate the GPS and the chipset itself. So Gobi includes the GPS One engine from Qualcomm, which gives you the ability to leverage software like Absolute to track your assets and other software to do turn-by-turn -turn navigation within your laptop itself. To summarize the Gobi benefits, if you're looking to deploy today on a PC re refresh, first is global coverage. If you're going to standardize on multiple laptops, standardize on Gobi, it gives you that 
that assurance that you can connect anywhere in the world. The second is the asset protection. If you look at external cards, as I mentioned, you lose, you lose the adapter, it gets stolen. It's not a clean solution. As you're investing in these laptops, you now have a single support model with the OEM where it's embedded in the device itself. And then third, if you look at superior performance, I mentioned already 30 to 40% improvement in the performance of the laptop. And then finally, looking at standardization and simplicity, a single laptop with a single image, imagine, deployed around the world. And the GPS features, which I highlighted, I'll let uh, Absolute talk more about what they're doing with the GPS. And with that said, I'd like to turn the time over to Fred Vicola from Trillia.